Hey guys, Sam here, and today we are going to build another WordPress website. So, you know, I've got a few of these projects backed up, and one of the things I found is that when I'm building out a site, it doesn't necessarily take a long time, but I kind of need to be able to um, have a couple hours where I can just sit and concentrate on it and nothing else um, while I'm working on it. So, um, that can be pretty difficult during the week because I'm just constantly getting emails and all different phone calls. Um, stuff that needs my attention all over the place so um, it's hard to get a couple quiet hours during the week to do it so once again Saturday just like the last um, last one we did was last Saturday um, and I've got a couple hours free here so we're gonna see if we can knock out this new site now this is gonna be for a uh, limousine shuttle service kinda deal they also do wine tours um, that kinda thing so I've uh, I'm going to stick with using Divi because I've really been liking Divi lately. Uh, I found another theme, that I, a child theme that goes with it that I really like a lot. Uh, it's going to be something kind of different for this one. Now, this child theme was a little expensive, but I think I could probably use it for a couple products. So it should save it, pay itself back over time. Um, and it's it's really cool. So um, what we're going to probably try to do on this one, this site actually has probably about 50 pages. So what I'm going to do is... We're gonna create the home page, and then maybe just uh, mock up a quick sub page, and then I'm gonna show it to the client and make sure they like it before we go ahead and build out the whole thing, because we don't need to build out 50 pages just to find out that they don't like it. So we're just gonna mock up enough so that they can get a good idea of how the site's gonna look and so forth, and then we can go ahead and get the rest of that content migrated over. So that's kind of the approach we're gonna take with this one. It's not gonna be actually totally complete when we finish, but we should, the uh, goal is gonna to be to have the home page mocked up nice and a, at least a sub page. And you know, we'll get all the nav and the logo and so forth and all of that in there. So uh, it should be an interesting one. The theme we're gonna be using is really cool. And um, yeah, something a little bit different than we did before. So uh, stay tuned and let's see what we can do. Okay, thanks for staying with me here. Now, this is the site, um, the existing site that we're going to be converting to a brand new WordPress theme. Um, right now, this is just a, I'm pretty sure it's just a static HTML site or something like that. Um, I don't think it's running on a content management system. You can see it's got kind of a old school layout, and um, it does actually have a mobile menu, so it kind of sizes down for mobile, but you'll see they got iframes here and uh, some of the pictures and they got a video in here and stuff just uh, that doesn't size down correctly for mobile so um, this is definitely a site that can use an update you see they got like about a thousand testimonials on this page right here um, I think we got a better way we can probably do that um, that's really a lot it's cool that they have so many because that'll be nice for uh, giving us stuff to work into the site but I think we can find a much better way of presenting that so this is pretty much what we got to work with. It's a basically a shuttle, airport shuttle and winery tours company. Um, so they cater to more high-end clients and this is in Southern California. So we got plenty to work with here. What we're going to do is try to knock out this home page and then um, probably, I don't know, maybe one of these about pages here. I'm not really sure which one. Maybe the R fleet or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway so that's what the site looks like now I found a pretty cool Divi child theme that I'm gonna use for this one and I'll flip over to it here it's called Avalon and so this has got kind of this cool um, it's a sort of one page style but it's got these nice angled sections which is really popular right now so um, you know it's really nice that they have they're coming with themes that do this because um, this is something that a lot of people are after these days and it can be a lot of work to program these from scratch. I've done a couple of these from scratch and it definitely takes more time than um, just the more traditional kind of style. So it's really cool that they did this. Um, I really like the typography on the site a lot. Um, this all looks really nice. Uh, color scheme they have is really good. I don't know if we're going to change that up a little bit or what we're going to do with that, but um, I like the color scheme that's on here. Um, the sections all look fantastic. Uh, as you can see, they got different modules for all kinds of stuff here. Um, got some nice tabs built in there. We'll see if we can maybe figure out a way of integrating those. And I don't know if we're going to need a portfolio, but it's cool. It's nice that they have that there. Um, and then they got the footer built up down here. 
with a contact form and some other stuff. So, um, pretty cool, nice looking theme. Now this one's expensive. Um, I got this for Monterey Premier. It's hundred and seventy-five dollars, but you do get to unlimited use license with it. So, hopefully, I'll do a couple sites with this and make my money back on it. I'm not gonna make a huge amount on this particular project, unfortunately, but. Um, I think it'll be worth it to get this theme and to just kind of play around with it and see what we can do because I'm pretty sure there's other projects I could use this kind of format for that would look really cool. Even maybe my own site, I've been thinking about redoing that in TV, so this could be a possible um, child layout I could use for that. So yeah, so um, this should be pretty fun. You can see over here I bought it in Monterey Premiere. I really did pay the 175 bucks for it. Um, I've got it all downloaded and I also have installed WordPress over here on my dev server so we've got it on a dev URL um, let's see I'm just gonna go ahead check and make sure that search engines are discouraged um, yeah so I think we're ready to install Divi and then I've got the installation instructions for this child team and we'll just go from there so first let's get Divi in here I recently moved around some of my files, so I keep some of my WordPress files in this folder rather than keeping them in my downloads folder, which I was doing, and that'd be okay, but I have so much stuff coming through there that it can be kind of a hassle, so, um, and I think I might need to update my Divi too, because for whatever reason I've been getting some, some of these errors when I activate it, it doesn't really seem to do anything, but, um, yeah, I don't think we need that. So I'll have to check and see if there's an update available for that. Anyway, now we can grab the child theme here, which I just bought, so that's fresh in my downloads folder. And let's see, Avalon.zip, okay. Cool. So we'll get that activated. Now we gotta follow these instructions. Um the last theme I did well, the last one I did was a layout pack, and that one was super easy to install. There was only a couple instructions on that one. And the first theme I did was the Ally theme, which I also um, purchased off Monterey Premiere. And that one was a really easy installation process. They actually had like their own like plugin or something that just automatically imported all this stuff. It was super easy. This one is a little bit more complicated. Um, okay, so we got that done. We got step two done. We got the child theme activated. Okay, now we go to Tools, Import, and Choose WordPress. So I'm just going to walk through this whole um, process. If you ever want to use this theme, then you'll be able to see how to do it. And I don't think it's anything too complicated. It's just a uh, decent number of steps involved here. So let's see. We've got that. Run the WordPress importer. And then we need to upload layouts and content.xml which we know is in our folder here. Looks like they changed the name of the file, but that's okay. Um, sign that there. Make sure we, let's see, let me just make sure we get this. Um, okay. Okay, cool. Let's get all that imported. Hopefully that should import all the images and everything, so it should be all cool to go on that. Um, cool. Okay, so the next thing we're going to have to do is go and set the home page as our home page. And then we're going to have to import some DV settings. So you can see this is a fairly involved process. Um, not exactly the same as the other one that we did, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll go to settings, reading, is that reading? Yeah. And then it says leave the post page blank, so we'll just assign the home page for now. I'm good there. Um, settings saved, okay, cool. Okay, so next we go to Divi Migrate Settings. Let's see if we can find that um, DV settings backup.txt. Okay. Bam, let's hit it. Whoop, whoop, your theme settings were imported. Job done. Sweet. Okay. Next, set up custom menus. Go to appearance menus. 
check off the primary menu option to ensure your theme only uses this custom menu. Okay, got it. Use them for the secondary menu. Okay, got that. Fortunately, the font awesome icons do not carry over on the import, so you have to add them in manually. To open each item and replace the navigation labels with the following. Oh wow, that's crazy, huh? Um. Oh, I see. Okay, so I wonder why they don't do that. And oh, look at that! I can't. Can I not copy this? Jeez, that's kind of a drag. Um. Jeez, yeah, that really stinks. Let me see if I can get a different uh, thing to copy that with, because that's not very cool. Oh shit, that's going to be faster if I just type it. Okay, so let's see. Move this over a little bit here. Um, Alright, the first one, let me move this a little bit so I can see both. Okay. I class equals FA. Luckily, there's only four of these, and I can copy paste most of it, so it's not going to be that bad. Alright, so next we'll go hit this one. And this one is another follow, that's cool. Except for we want to tra change this Facebook to Twitter. And then here is another follow. Oh, and did I add the end span? Nope, I didn't. Okay, this one we're going to change to Pinterest. And then in Spain. And then last we got call. Spain class. Oh, I guess those are all the same no matter what. Okay. Change this one to phone. Hopefully, nothing blows up after doing all that. I don't even know if we're gonna use all those anyway, honestly. But oh, that's, yep, okay, it looks good. But we'll do it anyway, so that's cool. Um, custom color changer settings in the customizer. You notice we all now have over 20 new customizer options that were not previously available. That's cool. Um, let's see. Active horizontal tab colors need to be changed on the style sheet. I don't know if we're going to even use that, so we'll just leave that. Um, update footer and bottom footer tagline. Go to Divi Library and you'll find the following templates. Okay. Open them up and edit them using the built-in page builder function, just like you would any other page section. Okay. So here's the bottom footer. Let's see what we got here. Come on. So we're running a little bit slow today, huh? Good grief. All right, let's refresh it. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, there we go. Oops, shoot. Okay, let's see. simple. 
Okay, so that one's all set. And what was the other one? Main footer. Let's just see. We might not even need to mess with that one yet, but let's just check it out and see what it looks like. Um, is that old main footer? That's weird. I don't see. Oh, maybe they, maybe they added another one. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, all this stuff. Yeah, you know, I think we'll just go back and mess with that later. Honestly, we probably don't need to mess with that right now. Um, usually I like to do the header and footer last, just to kind of, um, once I build out this other stuff, then I have a better idea what's all going to need to go in there and so forth. Okay, updating team member images on the home page. To get the cool hover effect, we use the code module to add our custom HTML. To update the name, position, and URL, just open the module and edit these places. Okay. That looks pretty easy. So I think we probably will use those. Um, updating the video. Okay, cool. That looks pretty easy. Custom login editor. We don't really care about that. Um, additional CSS. Okay, cool. All right. So that looks like the installation process. You can definitely see that's a little bit more involved than the other one, but this is kind of an advanced theme anyway. So um, anyway, not a big deal. We got it done in about five minutes. So let's dive right into the home page here. Let's see what we're working with. Um, right here, this looks like. Um, let's see what this thing is. I think it's just a background image. Yep. Okay, cool. So, we really need to find a cool photo for the background. Now, let's hop over to their site. They do have some photos on their site. Um, the problem that I found with some of them is that they've got feathering on the edges, which kind of I don't think makes them look that good, or at least not for backgrounds. You can see it's kind of feathered along the edges here, um, so we probably want to avoid that. There's I think a couple in here that aren't like that one, but that's not the greatest picture. This one's kind of nice. Um, shows off the nice leather seats and stuff. It looks luxurious, but it's a little bit greeny already. So I don't know if it's gonna look awesome if we blow it up. Um, shoot. Otherwise, we could always open this up and crop it, but I don't know if we want to do that. Um, let's just head over to Pexels really quick and see what we can find there. Um, let's see if they got any cool limo photos. And yeah, I don't think they. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um. Let's try executive and see if we get anything cool with that. Yeah, I think this is going to be a little bit harder to find good stock photos for. The other thing we could do is look for, uh, oh, where are they located? Southern California. Maybe find a kind of a background of that. Let's see if there's a nice, like, nature. That's kind of cool. That one actually might work right there. Um,. Sky view of the city, we don't really know what city that is. Hopefully that actually is California. I don't, this is Southern California, so Golden Gate Bridge is just not gonna work because that's in the middle. Um, okay, so this would be the only one. Let's see if maybe it says, oops. Oops. I really can't tell if that's actually, um, this is San Francisco. Hey. Let's try like uh, Los Angeles, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't like these as much. This is a cool one. All right, let's head over to Adobe Stock because we won't really want the opening image to be you know make an impact so we don't want to skimp on it let me go back here too and check and make sure i know where they're located okay from san diego airport okay from san diego airport so probably san diego is what we would be looking for here okay yeah see we, these some of these would be good i think um Probably one with a little more color. This one's kind of nice. Let's just see what they got here. That's kind of cool. 
I like that one we saw shutter stock with the cars kind of going back and forth um, but I don't know if we're going to find one like that. I mean, this is kind of cool, but it's got this thing on it. Um, let's look through a couple more here. I saw some decent ones up at the beginning, so if we can't find anything here... Eh, that's a kind of a nice one. Oh, that's a... Is that a video? Yeah. Um, that's kind of cool. Let's see if that's actually San Diego. San Diego night skyline panorama. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Let's take a look at this area and see if we think that would be a good fit right there. I think that could be kind of cool. I think that could actually work. Um, okay, let me look just down the rest of this page, and if we don't find anything there, then we'll use that one. No, shoot, did I lose it? Yep. Okay, so that's a night one. This is the one, or no, that's not the one we were looking at. We were looking at this one. Let's just see if there's anything else. That one's kind of nice, but it's cloudier. This is kind of cool. But I don't know if that shows off enough of the city. San Diego Freeway. That's kind of cool. Gosh, that video is nice too, isn't it? Oops, I keep doing that. That one's a little too up close. That one I think is too yellow. I'm back on page one again, brother. Um, that's kind of cool, but I don't think it's a nice enough photo. Okay, I'm going to do one thing because I really like the way that street thing looked. I'm going to head to just check video blocks and see if they have a free San Diego video that kind of looks like the one we had because I think that was really nice. Um, let's see, am I logged in? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. It'd be nice to get one of, yeah, they got ships, but we really want something of cars like driving. And these are all, the quality doesn't look that good. Okay, let's hit the membership content. Um, that's cool, but it doesn't really show driving, which is like, I kind of think what we want. Even though some of these aren't nice. That one isn't bad. So we could always um, give one of those a try, just see if we like it. Let's see. Again. I don't really care for that one. That one, the video is just not that nice. Oh, here we go. So that could be kind of cool. So I think it, that one would be worth a try, and if not, then maybe like this, or actually this one. This is nice and dark. It's not showing a preview. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, let's just try this one. I, honestly, I don't even know if this is going to work with, uh, video. I don't know if you're allowed to put video backgrounds on this theme. We tried that on a, a different theme, I think, in our tutorial, and it didn't end up working out, so we'll just quick check it and see. Um, if that one turns out to be too light, then we can always um, try one of these other night ones, because I think these potentially could be good. Uh, the video backgrounds are pretty popular these days, so I always like to try to get those in if I can, because I think it just adds a little bit of extra, you know, motion and makes it look a little fancier, so people tend to like those. Um, so we'll just see if we can make it work. Alright, let's get this out of here, and let's try to add a video and just see what happens.
Test this out and see how it looks. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the front end. This is uh, actually looks awesome. It looks really good. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna work. They're gonna love that. Uh, it's got some nice motion there, but you can still read the text, which I definitely like. That still gotta decide if I'm even gonna change the color scheme. I just honestly, I really like it, and it's, they kind of were already using a blue anyway. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to think about that some more. But this, I think this looks good the way it is. And I think if we just change this buy now to book now, they will probably like that. So, also I noticed, um, I just stopped the recording for a minute. But I noticed in here that I accidentally put ones at the end of these, um, ending eye tags. So, if you're following along and you notice that, I did actually come through and correct these because this whole page was screwed. And it took me a minute to figure it out, but... Turn out to be no big deal. So, anyway, let's go pop back into pages. Um, let's see, home page. So, I think we just need to edit on this top part, which, man, I'm impressed with how good that looks. At. Honestly, I think that's going to be awesome. Um, I do still wish I knew how to do a um, overlay on top of the video. So, one of these days, I'm just going to do it, and then I'll do a tutorial or something on how to do that. Because I'm sure there's a way of doing it, it's just I haven't taken the time to do the CSS. But for this one, uh, this video is dark enough so that I think it actually works pretty well so without any kind of overlay or anything. Um, so yeah, it's got their location, and it's got cars moving and stuff in the background. Super nice. Um, yeah, I think they're going to really like this a lot. Okay, let's see here. Gosh, I don't know what's up with this thing hanging on me like this. Well, let's try it again. Title. And then here they've got airport shuttle, this thing, and winery tours. Gosh, where even is that on my keyboard? Oh, there it is. change this to book now because they have several book now buttons on their site so um, and then we can really ask for the URL oh there we go okay so if we go back to their site yep okay book online now All right, I guess we're just gonna have to that's in inside the iframe so Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird how this whole thing works. I don't really understand it. Because um, I clicked a different book online button and it took me somewhere else. So they've got some kind of third party booking thing embedded in here. And uh, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, here we go. This is the one. Alright. Oops. Gosh. Oh, where did it go? Oh, yeah, okay. I'll just copy the link from here. Yeah, we can click off of these. We don't need those anymore. Okay. Hopefully that will work. And the rest of this, I think, is good. Oh, it's like a background overlay color. Huh. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe they actually did it. Well, let's make it way less opacity and see see if this is like super dark oh it did wow nice how nice that's great okay well luckily for this one I don't think we're going to need it to be that dark so we can change it back uh, they had it on 0 0.5 I think which looked pretty good but let's see we'll change this to header hero Overlay color. Yeah, let's move this back down. Let's try like five eight. We'll make it just a little bit darker than it was. Oh yeah, and for the design, let's see. Um, yeah, I think we should change the title font on this one at least to white. Even though I think the light blue looks okay, but I think it'll be better this way. And the rest. 
rest of it though. I'm okay with the button the way it is, so I think we can leave that. Alright, let's check it now. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. You can read this nicely. Um, I don't know about the blue in the book now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that. Uh, let me think about that and come back to it. Overall, I think that's pretty good. So, um, here we've got the second section. Now, I don't know what we're gonna do with this. On our current site, they kind of go right. Let me go back to the beginning here. Um, yeah, so they kind of go right into this booking module, but I don't think I want to put it right there because uh, it's, it, the contrast on this blue is not going to be good. I guess we can try to just put it in and see how it looks, but I don't know if it's going to be that great. So this is where we'll put it. Um, let's grab the... we got to go in here and... and uh, get the iframe code okay so I'll grab that just only want to copy that not the whole thing oh nope didn't work alright I guess I'm gonna have to do it the hard way alright well, we'll just delete what we don't need then oh perfect actually that worked perfect All right. Let's just try it and see. I don't know if this is going to look very good the way it is, but it might. Um, hmm. Actually, I guess that's not actually horrible. Let's see. Let's see if we shrink the screen down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So if you're on a mobile device, then, um... I like the menu. Okay. This is all looking very good. So if you're on a mobile device, yeah, that'll be perfect because this will be the first thing that you see after the header. So, yeah, I think that'll work well. Okay. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to do that, but... Um, okay, let's see. What did they... Uh, they don't really have a... Hmm... I wonder what we call that. Oh, maybe just call it Executive VIP Transportation. Oh, you know what? Oops. This should be... There, that's better. That's what the company's name actually is. I need to do my homework a little bit better before I do these. Okay, let's see. say book online Make that'll look good and we got these little four things here I don't know what we're gonna do for that let's see if they got four things we can do fully licensed and insured uh, locally owned and operated shuttle service since 1962 uh, Thirty-eight dollars each way. Um, yeah, we might have to do that because we can only fit. Uh, golly, I don't know. Because we could just do two columns and have them a little bit longer. I think it would be good to get. Some of this I think would be good to get in there. So maybe we'll just do like two columns. Try that. Um, Alright, let's see. I guess let's just try this. This site's got a lot of text on it, so it can be a little bit... Um, tricky to figure out exactly what to put what where let's see where to meet your driver that seems important where to meet your driver there that seems important too okay so we should probably just put 
Because I would guess a lot of people coming to the site are probably looking for that information. So we want to make sure that's prominent, especially on a mobile device so it shows up right away. Um, let's copy that. Get this in here. And then um, for icons, I think we're just going to do two of the same icons. This is basically the same thing. So I got like a car or something. Hmm, not really seeing one. So we could try the key and see how that looks. See how that looks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I love that. It's really this it would be much better if these were on one line. Maybe if I remove the I'm trying to remove the icon and see. Let's just take that off. Okay. Okay. And we'll take it off there. Hopefully that'll widen up the columns a little bit and make it so that text all fits on one line because that just looks dumb. Oh man, look at that. Would you believe that? So that's weird because I thought that one was bold. Um, I think what we want to do is this one we could bold. This is, these maybe just unbold. That was bold, that's weird. Okay. Um hmm. Okay, let's check it. These columns are still pretty wide. So it'd be nice to figure out how to get, um, I think this is, this right here would be good to get in there somewhere. I'm just not totally sure where to put it. Feels like we should almost put it above these two, but I don't know. Um, I think it'd be like a row, an inside row. It doesn't really look like it. So maybe what we'll do just duplicate, oops. Um, clone this and just get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Oh boy, I never remember how to do this part. Okay, there we go. So make this just one big row. And we can make it a text box. Just a regular text, I think. Italic and unbold that since this is already a heading. I'm just gonna see what we end up with with that. I don't. This might bust this part here too, so I don't know for sure if that's gonna work or not. Hmm. God, I really don't like that. I really don't. At least it fits, but I don't think that's very good. Um. Man, that's a tough one. Let's see if they have some padding as long as I'm in here. I want a little bit less padding on these. No, they don't have anything. And they, yeah, they could have some animations too. 
one on the top. And do like top to bottom on this one. I wish that the demo theme had the animations on here. Um, okay, let's do this one. Oh, they don't give you an animation on that one, do they? Okay, so um, we got kind of a problem here in that we need to add some extra stuff over here, but the two column layout is not, there's just not a great way of doing it. So um, what I think I might do, because I guess one of the things with uh, Visual Composer is that you can have like rows within rows. So I could put like a, you know, have a one third and a two third right here. And then within this, I could put another row and have two one halves. Um, but I, I don't think you can do that with Divi. At least I haven't like researched it enough to figure it out. But um, I'm sure you can do it with CSS, but you c I don't know if they have a way in their editor to do it. So what I'm thinking we'll do with this is um, maybe just change this to one column and then have these on top of each other. And then we can put this either at the bottom or the top and then another thing at the bottom or the top too. And that should fill out the whole section and make it look pretty decent, I think. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Let me log back in here. I ended up having to go and do some stuff on Saturday. So I'm actually back a couple days later working on this. So um, this one I did not complete in one day, but um, we got a pretty good amount done on it. So oh, look at that. They put a little thing right there. Um, we're gonna have to figure out how to remove that. Let's see. Oh shit. Just typed it wrong. Okay. So let's see where are we at here. Um, got the theme I divide two because I. Um, okay, so yeah, this one here. We are gonna need to turn this into like a one third, two third. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, I think that's right. Um, and then let's fix it like that and let's just see how this looks. Oops. Got to get all my windows back opened up. Need to have at least a couple windows open so I can flip back and forth here. Um, okay, so, huh, that's kind of crazy that these, uh, there's must be some like padding or something on these, but, um, actually overall that looks pretty good, I have to say. So, um, maybe we'll put like a, this seems like it needs uh, some kind of separator. Oops, wrong spot. Jeez. Okay, let's, since we already used that before, I'll try using that again and just see how that goes. Uh, okay, cool. So that looks pretty good. Now let's see if there's anything else important that we need to have right there. Uh, we want to go back to the home page. Okay, so maybe, uh, hmm. So maybe put this on the top and this on the bottom. I think that might be the way to go with that. Uh, yeah, otherwise I think that looks pretty good. Cool. Okay, so... And duplicate this, pop that on the bottom, and then this one will edit. And we got this as an H1, huh? Hmm. So that one probably should stay in H1. We might have to see what the H2 looks like on the other one, though. Okay, and they got another little tilde thing in there. So we're keeping with that theme pretty well. Well, let's just try this with H2s and see if that looks better. I don't like to use that many H1s anyway, because um, that's not how, really how it's supposed to be laid out. 
Okay, so the H1 and the H2 actually looks pretty much the same. Hmm. Except for this is a little bit smaller. So maybe we should just make that H2 also. Maybe that'll make it a little bit smaller and then it'll fit on one line. That would be pretty cool. Oops, what a flip. There we go. Okay. There we go. Because otherwise, I think that looks pretty good. And we're getting there. Important info in there, and it's lined up pretty good with this form. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay, so the next section. Um, they've already got this video here, so I think we can reuse this video module and put one of their videos in there. Now, the. Uh, yeah, because the next thing we're going to want to do is their um, wine tours are a really important part of their business. So um, rather than have the testimonials come here, I think it's important that we put the wine tours here. I would put, actually put it here, but I think it would be better to have it in a section with a colored background. So when we get to that point, I'm going to swap this one with this one, and then we're going to change this one to wine tours, and then maybe we'll see if we can do something cool with that. But if not, then that's fine too. Um yeah, but so for right here, let's pop in the video and we can see if we can do anything cool with that. I hate to just get rid of it, but um, I don't know yet. I know they have some videos on here somewhere. Uh, okay, customer testimonial. That's kind of cool. Let's see. For many years. And recently, while we. Okay, that one's not bad. Let's just see if they have any other ones. I'm pretty sure they have multiple ones on here. Um, let's see. Bonus. Fleet, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. See if they have it. Oh, okay. So they got. It looks like they're there mostly just testimonials that they have here. So okay, I guess we'll just use the one from the homepage because this is the one they already had chosen for the homepage anyway. So let's see. Let's go over and grab this from YouTube. embed code hopefully or actually you know what I bet it with this one you probably just use the URL let me grab the URL that happened last time I did one of these I'm used to doing the embed code because I'm a little old school but a lot of these you just pop in the oh eh, eh, it's got code let's see what it says oh yep okay so maybe we just change that hopefully that'll do it for us all right let's check that out Um, okay, well that doesn't look like it worked at all, does it? Let's see, did I mess it up? Back into the code, okay. Oh, maybe it doesn't like the U dot thing. Um, oh, maybe it's, they want one like this. I wish, now I kind of wish I remember what this looked like before. All right, let's try that. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna pull up the instructions because I remember that they had something about that in here. Oh, download package, read me, okay. Let's see what they got here. way down here still um, team members video okay update it with your YouTube video just open the module and place it with your own YouTube embed URL okay so maybe we're just getting the wrong type of uh... oh this is probably what we want okay I've never had to do it that way so that's interesting but 
Hopefully that'll work and then we can continue on. Perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty pretty slick. I think that'll be good. Okay, so let's see if they have anything that would be good to put in this area. I'm not sure if they do or not. Hmm. I have a list of specialty here and fleet. I don't know if that's quite going to work. Hmm. Well, what if we just take that stuff out? Maybe that's the way to do it. As much as I hate to because it's cool, I think we could possibly just go without it. Okay, so next we're going to switch those two sections. So, let's see. This one... Hopefully this, the divider images don't cause any issue. Alright, let's hope for the best on this one here. So they're a little touchy. Um, okay, well let's okay let's do this then. Oh god. Well, we could just switch these to. I don't want to like get to the point where this thing is like totally screwed up, but. Okay, so that one. Okay, so that, so this one has that, and then this one has this. Is that the deal? Okay, and then this one has to go back here. Okay, we might be going into our revisions pretty soon if this doesn't work. But I really want this one to. This testimonial is a module I like. I just want to put it lower on the page. I have to like read. Oh, god dang. Oh, so okay. So maybe this needs to actually go up one. This one is correct. This. Um, the bottom one's correct. Oh no. Well, let me. Maybe that. Maybe it didn't upload it. Oh, let's start. This seems like it should be. Right there. Okay, let's try this. Let's take these one at a time. No, nope, that did not work. Hmm, seems like this one. Ok, 
Yeah, well, this is just getting all screwed. Okay, maybe this one needs to go here. I think I'm just going around in circles on this. I... Yep, that one's supposed to be where it is. That one's correct. But I think we're, let's see, this one I don't think was right. Well, maybe it is, let's see. It's kind of a bummer that these aren't a little bit easier to change. I can see why they wouldn't be, but... Yeah, so it's like this one really needs to... Let me see how I have this. Hmm, man, that is really confusing. Really confusing. Okay, well, let's, let's go back on the revisions here. Because we're not getting anywhere. Hopefully this is far back enough. Hopefully we still got our video in here. Okay, we do. This is like close. It's really this one needs to go there. I think that's like pretty pretty much it, I think. So this, okay, let's see. Boy, this is complicated. Okay. Team, okay, so I think it's this one right here. This is this white one. Actually, that one I think they're supposed to have. That one is, a, oh God. Okay, well, let's see if we can match it up. Let me see. Oh, so this one actually has like a... Huh. Interesting. So maybe there's something in this. Good grief. Because we really just need to flip. Is it in here? Huh. Man, that is just the damnedest thing. That's really like the only part that's messed up. Hmm. custom CSS in any of these so that is just really confusing. Hmm. I feel like we're close to fixing it so now I kind of want to see if we can fix it. But Oh, maybe this is in the our team section? Is that right? So maybe at the end of our team. Okay, let's see. 
So one of these I'm thinking has some custom CSS in it, and then we need to change where that's at. And then we'll actually be able to do it, but I'm not sure where. I guess maybe in this one. Aha. Okay, so if we put this at the end of this one, I think is what we need to do. All right, let's pray that this one works, because if not, then I really don't know. That section's okay. Bam, look at that. Beautiful. Well, it wasn't easy, but we figured it out. Okay, cool. So now for this section, these things are kind of cool. It would be nice to see if we could fit something in with these. I don't know what it would be, but... um, All right, so... Let's find some more information on the wine thing. Wine tasting tour. Wine tasting tours. All right. Text. That might be okay. Here, let's see. Can just plug this right in there. Don't think we want to bold. We'll just leave these for now. We can go back in and change them later. And then this is let's see, we did a book now before button, I believe. So we just need to copy this link here. Okay, that looks good. So we got the whole column for that one. Let's see how this accordion works. Okay, so in here. Oops. Okay. I think they have some like different uh, locations and stuff, so that's a possibility. Wine tours. Let's see. Um, See if they break it down well on this page so we can get this in here. Man, wouldn't it be nice to take one of these winery tours? Um, okay, that one doesn't have that much. Let's see, couples embrace. Okay, so maybe we can just, let's see, maybe we just feature a couple of these. These one, two, three, and four. Let's do those ones. Because they're shorter and they're all kind of the same length. Okay. And that one is called Couples Embrace. This one's called Going Gourmet. Okay, that one just links back to the home page. Uh, okay, wine tours. Okay, let's see here. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a um, apostrophe there or not. So going gourmet, can we actually get anything on here? This looks, this looks like the homepage to me, so no. Okay, luxury limo tour. Hopefully work. I don't think we want this centered though. 
perfect. Okay. Actually, I, I don't really see the point of having these broken out either. Okay. That, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, third one. Hopefully they have two more of these that'll work. Um, bachelorette tours? No, that one doesn't look like it works. Corporate? Okay. That one's kind of long though, so I think I'd rather do a smaller one. Let's see, bridal party tours? If we have to do the corporate, we can, but I don't know if I like that one as much. Wine Wednesday tours? How about that? No. Uh, special events? I don't think that's going to work. Uh, San Diego? Nope. And Bachelorette? No. All right, I guess let's just do corporate and we'll maybe just uh, make the uh, thing a little bit smaller. Hopefully that'll all fit. Cool. Alright, let's see how this looks. Hopefully this looks okay. It's okay. I don't know if it's the greatest. Um, I kind of want to get a picture in here too, honestly, because this is, I don't know, I just, let me see how this looks. It kind of sucks that you can't click and close on those. Let's see how it looks with, eh, I guess it's pretty close. I don't know though, it would be nice to get a picture right there, like kind of, uh, let's see, let's just go over to Pixels. I was on a dog search for whatever reason, alright, let's see. So maybe if we can just get like a, yeah, something like that or something like that. And then, uh, let's see. Really, I think this one will be just fine. Is that, a, is that for sure a winery? Um, I don't know. Maybe we better do this one. This one seems a little bit better. And this one, we're only going to want a smaller one because we want it to be mostly horizontal, so we can use a smaller pick from Pexels. Okay, and then we'll just crop out a bunch of this. We don't want to take up too much room, but this should jazz it up a little bit. Okay. Hopefully this will look all right. Uh, where's that part at? Right here. So we should be able to pop it in right here and it should work. Hopefully 337's not too tall. But that, that doesn't look that tall to me. But we can always um, make it smaller if it, if it looks too big. I gotta get rid of this button too. I don't believe we need that. Yeah, see, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And like realistically, you could actually add some more of these here, but when you have them down, it at least looks better. I could just, I guess I could just add another book now there. Never hurts to have um, more call to actions. 
So let me just grab this like that because I think I will do that. Copy. Alright, and here we go. Oh, got that one already. Uh, am, I, am I just like tripping? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we already did that. Cool. All right. So we, we don't want to change that to the solution to book now. Cool. Good. So here, I think we should use um, our fleet. I actually thought about this one. Um, I was originally looking at this theme and thinking about whether or not I would want to use this. I think this would be perfect, um, even though I don't know how this tall one's going to work out, but the rest of these should be good, because I think smaller size would be just fine, especially on the home page. And then this can click into the our fleet page, so that's going to work out perfectly. And then it'll transition right nicely into the testimonials. And then this last one, I don't know what we're going to do with that yet. But Hopefully we'll figure something out. Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's see how they have this section set up. The team. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Hey. Okay. Um, oh boy! So they got a three-column layout here. That's interesting that this is all just done manually. Huh? Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's take a look at their fleet. Okay, we've got Lincoln Town Cars. L series Turtle Top Limo Elite Coach Executive Vans uh, Is that it? Let's just, let me just check on the home page and make sure. If that's true, then they only have four, so that's going to change what we do a little bit. L series. Uh, let's see. Lincoln Town Car, L series, Turtle Top, Executive Vans. Okay. Yep, I guess it's just four. So that's going to make our job pretty easy. Hopefully, this will not break too bad if we turn it to two columns. Because that's what we're going to do. Let's just see what happens here with this. Yeah, that looks good still. Okay. That should actually work pretty well. And then we don't need to even need the link on there. So we'll just delete that part and leave this here. So when they hover over it, they'll see. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so let's see. L series. Unfortunately, these I'm going to have to bring into Photoshop too and crop them to get rid of that feathering. That's just no good. Oh, is that Lincoln? Oh, I should be saving these as JPEGs, but I'm hoping I'll be able to get some uh, better pictures from them for this section. Maybe once they see it, that will uh, make them a little more interested in updating some of these pictures. I'm sure they have some really cool pictures of all their different vehicles and so forth that they have. So, all right, let's see here. Yeah, as nice as this theme is, um, I could see how it would be difficult for people to work with it at the same time because a lot of this stuff is like, 
not it's manual it's not automatic you know people would expect theme options and stuff for this kind of thing and not having to replace a bunch of stuff in the code especially like switching those sections around i think a lot of people would find difficult um i definitely found it difficult myself okay let's see here so hmm, that is a little bit smaller though isn't it Well, maybe I can go ahead and adjust the width. Let me just get them all in here. Let's get them all. That's the Lincoln Town Cars. Here's the L series. This is really not ideal because we would like them to be like square and have basically the same dimensions, but we're just going to have to deal with it like this. Um, okay, it looks like all the feathering's out of there. That's good. Let's get this back to JPEG too. Um, you could save it as a ping, but it takes up way more space, so I don't really see any reason to do that. Okay. And this is L series. Okay. Close these out so my Photoshop doesn't start lagging like crazy. All right. Let's get rid of this one too. Okay, um, turtle top. This one is good because it doesn't have any feathering. And then here we got the eight passenger executive fans. So this is, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, that's cool. Good. Okay, um, Right, so let's pop in here. Okay, first off, we'll change this to. Let's gotta change all these admin labels too, that's really a bitch. Um, let's see. That we do not need. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't like break anything. Does it actually say Lincoln Town Car? I'm not just tripping, am I? Yep, okay, cool. The next one's L series. Let's go back to the media manager here and upload these other ones. So we got that one. Um this one. One more L series, there it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is kind of a slow process doing this. And and I basically know how to do it too if you're not that comfortable working with um, inside a code like this it could even be more complicated because you have to be really careful that you're not breaking anything plus we may have to do some troubleshooting on this once we get it in here just to make sure that we got it the way we like it um, okay so this is L series help having these I should always rename these admin labels it's just lazy not doing that so in the future I'm gonna make a more concerted effort to try to do that okay next we'll do the turtle top here we go and goes there Top Limo Elite Coach. Okay. And last of all, we got the passenger van. Let me look back here and remember what they called it on the site. Close some of these tabs as well. They called it Executive Vans. Okay, cool. Get there. And then here, we just do this whole thing. 
So we may have to go in here and screw around with the image width too, if this doesn't work out good. Hopefully it works out though. At least decently. Oh, that one is just the worst. Okay, the rest of these are fine. But, yeah, that is just not very good. Um, okay, let me try putting a width 100% on that and just see if it pops the height in correctly, automatically. I don't really want to have to put a custom height in there because, um, let's try that and see if that works. Or to see how it looks, I should say. I don't know. Who knows if it's going to work or not. Um, that just absolutely did nothing. Okay. Yeah, I really want this section to look good, too. So we got to figure this out. So what if we... This one, what is the size on this? 363 by 228. And then this one is like, let's see what this one is. Way bigger. Okay. So what if we all put a max width on all of these of 363? I'm going to write this down. 228. Just, okay, let me double check that. So if we made them all smaller, you know, then, because what happens is, like, I can put, I can make all these bigger, it's going to distort this one, this one won't look that bad, but then, on mobile, I don't know how that's going to look, it's, it actually looks pretty good on mobile right now, really nice, actually, and, okay, so, well, maybe, let me try it, let me try that first, okay, so this one is, uh, Let's see, 480 by 379. That looks like the size they kind of want. So let's just try on one of these again here. With... And let me put it on the other one too, just to see. And we'll see. I don't like hard coding this stuff normally, but this might still be as long as it's responsive. It doesn't really matter. Um, so we'll just have to test the responsive and see if it still works. If it works like this, which I have no idea if it will. Okay, that looks pretty good. Still looks like the height is different though, for some reason. Interesting. Yeah, that one's 19 picks shorter. Very interesting. Okay, let's see how it looks when we shrink it. And then, yeah, that. I guess we can have a learn more about and go into the R Fleet page. Perhaps. Um, man, that's really dumb, though. So the height just straight up doesn't work. Interesting. Maybe we can try. Um, I guess we could try adding some custom CSS. Now to do custom CSS, I've been liking this plugin which is called custom CSS because this is really good on client sites like if I just need to go back in and make a small change it's super fast um, just to go into the custom CSS editor and then anything you're changing is not messing with the original CSS file so I like that a lot okay let's see figure I think that's correct so Height equals 379 picks. Oh, I'm just, okay. Oh yeah, that's right, tab doesn't work on here. Okay, cool. 
Let's just try this, see if it works. I think we're gonna have to adjust it for mobile, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Because these three are all good, just this one looks kind of crappy. But I think I'm just going to ask them for a different picture of their van. And if they can provide that, then that'll look pretty good. Let me check on mobile and see if it's busted, though. Yep. Okay. So. So. Uh, let's see. Grab a media query. So we'll say like I don't know. Let's try um, seven sixty-eight. That might be tubes. That might be too small, but we'll try it. So this should make it so that only browsers above 768 will have this attribute. So it should work on bigger and then on smaller to shrink down back correctly again. So let's see. You can watch up in the corner up there the pixel size and how it looks. And we can see right to the point where it starts breaking. Yeah, so, okay. Nine eighty. Okay, yeah, so I would say nine eighty then. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay, so these are all good now. You see they're not stretched horizontally on mobile. They actually look way better on mobile, but that's just because these are all different size images. Usually, you know, you want to have all your images be the same dimensions and you're going to get a much more uniform layout, but um, sometimes you don't have that. So in this case, we're just going to have to live with that one the way it is right now, but um, it still is pretty good. And then we got to change a couple more things here. So we change this to fleet. And this here, let's change this to learn more. Oops. And okay. Yeah, that looks sweet. Now this is this is kind of where all this padding is coming from. I don't think we need this much padding. Okay, here it is. Padding bottom 250 pixels. So one of these is. Oops, that's not the right one. One of these has some bottom padding. We need to adjust that. And that, might, that might be in the design section. Yep, there we go. I'll just delete that. Because remember, we switched those things around, so it was in there for that reason. Hopefully this doesn't break anything, but I think it's going to be just fine. Yep, okay. That's good. That just transitions right in there. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. Testimonial section. Hmm, that picture honestly isn't that bad, except for they're more of an executive kind of place, so I don't know. I don't know what kind of picture we want there. Let's see. Usually the people pictures on Pexels are kind of cheesy. Yeah, nothing great there. Let's see. Let's type in testimony. Oops. Testimonial. Okay, uh, if he 
back. Yeah, not good. Um, okay, let's see. How about... Corporate? Um... Oh, brother. Well, I don't think we can use that picture. You know, that actually is like perfect because she's looking right at it. I mean, that's the kind of thing that we want, but that one's just not going to work. Ugh. Um, hmm. <laughs> Man, okay, let's see. All right, let's just check Adobe Stock. Oh man, my typing is just off today. Let's see. So we kind of want, again, we want one where the guy's like happy. And if he's actually looking at the testimonial thing, that would be sweet. Because that's like what they had with the other deal. Um, hmm. That's close, but he's not looking at the thing, and it's too bright, I think. Um, this one is not bad. The female executive. Uh, let me just look through a tiny bit more. I think I like that one with the female executive, though. This one's not bad, but not. I don't think it's colorful enough. That one, I, yep, I already have that one. Yeah, that one's actually kind of nice. Let's let's put that one in, since, especially since I already have it. And see how that looks. Um, oh, man. Okay, let's see if I open... So I have to do it the hard way. Let's see how big this thing is. Huge. And we gotta flip it. Okay, so 4,000. Let's see how big this one on the site is. If we can. Oh wait, here's this it. Um, oh, perfect, okay, so this is a long one too. 1920 by 800. Alright. Let's see. Okay, well. Let's do that. We'll just leave it like that. I think that's fine. And then, um. Let's see. Edit. Form and flip it horizontal. Yeah, I think that's gonna probably work. I wonder if we can maybe like add a little bit of warmth to it or something. Uh, I'm not that great with that, but let's just see. Um, oops. Yeah, the filters, that's not gonna work. Um, maybe we're just, okay, hold on a second here. Yeah, so if we do that, but with like a yellow. Try it with like an orange. 
It actually looks quite a bit better. Wow. So we want orange. Maybe even add some back. Okay, cool. Just to warm it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be anything more than that. Okay, it looks good. Alright, so let's slide that in there and see how that looks. Let's pop a couple testimonials in here. This is going to be pretty easy. That's one of the things with this site is they have so many testimonials down here. This is like crazy. Um, okay. should find two that are sort of the same. So this one. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Let's see. We want ones that are roughly the same size. Same number of lines. This one is a okay. So this one and this one will probably work. I don't think we need to include the five star rating verbiage. Uh, can bold that. Let's check that out. I'm just going to put two in for now because if they don't like this, I don't want to spend a ton of time um, putting these in here. Okay, so yeah, it definitely does look better with the extra space. Other than that, I think that looks good though. And then this section. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. The lady's face is a little bigger than I was expecting it would be, but I guess that's okay. Um, all right, let me just quick go in here and put the extra line break. Oh, I guess I named both of those one, didn't I? Save that. Okay, and then we just got to figure out that last section, which I'm not totally sure yet. I think we got the most important stuff we need on the homepage. They have a lot of stuff on the site, but a lot of it's repetitive, and a lot of it's just a matter of entering all this data. So, like, I might create a testimonial page that has all of these on it. Maybe I'm probably format it better, but I think in those sliders, though, we don't really need to have all of them because it's going to look messed up if you put, like, a huge block like that next to a small block. Um, let's just see if there's anything good to put at that bottom section. Our fleet includes and we specialize in. That could be a good thing. So, like, two lists. Thoughts from our president. But they don't have a picture. So that's... If they had a picture, I would think that would be good. But I don't... Let me just see the about us. Um... Yeah, I don't see, maybe history. No, they don't have the picture of the president. <sighs> so maybe, yeah, maybe just this. Maybe we just do something with this. Just 
do like two lists. So we're gonna need to change this into it. Er, yeah. um, so we could have like a list picture, list picture, or we could just have two lists or like a, I don't know. Well, let's get in there. Actually, we better not get rid of that because this might have some in it. You just never know. We don't want to delete any of those angled pieces. Okay, no, we're cool. So we should be able to get rid of that. And then. Okay, oops. So if we change this to um, our fleet includes. Let's see. One and one box and button tabs. Anything that cool for a list, huh? Let me just pull this over so I can see them both. Okay. All right. Let me position this better here. Okay. Let's see how many of this I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, so we'll just leave it at that because the other one only has eight. Okay, so then we want to dupe this. Oops, we're going to have to. Hopefully, this doesn't look corny. Before we actually find the pictures for this, I want to make sure it doesn't look stupid, so let's just check. Holy Jesus. Yeah, that doesn't look very good at all. Oops. Oh man, that just looks awful. Okay. Um. That's partly, partly because I messed up the text editor. So if we go back down here, we should see this probably got an H2 tag wrapped around it. Oh, no, I guess not. What in the world? Huh. Crazy. Okay, so let's forget about doing the images for a minute. Add a t all right, let's see. So we're just gonna add a regular text block in here, and then I should have copied the list out of here, but I didn't. Oops, shoot. Let's just get it this way. Okay, I think this is gonna look better. It'll just keep this area a little bit more compact. And, um, okay, so we got, let's see, this is not our work. Okay, so then this we can duplicate. Oops, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Pop it right there, update. Let's see if that looks any better before I finish this off. Um... Not like the greatest, but we can probably indent that a little bit or something. I don't know. And then we're gonna probably have to take a little bit of padding off of the bottom of that. 
but I think that's probably okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I gotta find my other window. And back to the home page here. Okay, we specialize in on both of these and see if there's not padding added on the bottom of anything. Okay, that looks good. Yep. Get that out of there. And then we'll see how we're doing. I just don't like that. Um, maybe we need some more space between those or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know really how you would do that. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Putting a margin on that is gonna really work. And that, no, that's not gonna do much. Okay. Um, what if we just, let's see, what if we pad these left a little bit? Um, like 30 picks. Maybe just make the text a little bit smaller. Let's go down to 30. Perfect. That's better. Much better. Huh. Let's look at this on a larger. Okay, that's what we want to see. Um, yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so then we're gonna have to do the footer here. I wonder, should we do a sub page or should we do the footer and header? Let's do a sub page next because we need to get that out of the way. Um, yeah, okay. So let's go back to pages. Um, 
Let's just see how some of these look, because we might want to snag one of these templates. Okay, that just looks like a straight up regular page. Let's see if they're all like that. No, this one looks different. Okay. Okay, so this is probably the one we want to do. Um, all right, so let's edit this one. Home page is done. All right, so look for pages, let's see. I think I was gonna do weddings. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Um, first, we gotta get a different photo for that. So let's go back to Pexels. Usually for photos that are like a little more common, like weddings, you should be able to find something here. You know, there's less photos of people, but um, see, that could be a nice one for a San Diego wedding. Um, yeah, a lot of these could be nice. This one, I kind of like the quality of the picture. Um, Let's see. That's a nice one. Hmm. Yeah, I think this one's. Oops, that's not the one. Sorry. Where is it now? Yeah, I like this one. Let's do this. Okay, now let's try to take a look and see what the dimensions of this photo is. Oops. get a front end view of it switch these see if we can see okay this is 1920 by 800 again I'm gonna have to crop quite a bit out of this but that's okay Let's just try this and see how this goes. it'll be a little bit better um, here let's see weddings weddings um let's see what do they have here amid the swirl and excitement of your wedding day here to here okay there there we go that's what we want doesn't do it for me oh man I wish I could say that it did but it just doesn't seem right um, I think we need something with a little bit more color uh, maybe that one or that I don't know about that one I do like the 
this one. But there's nobody actually in the picture. Um, jeeps. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that one's not bad either. Uh, let's try this one. Got a little bit more color to it. Let's try that one. Yeah, I think that looks better. Um, okay, so for this one, this one, oh boy. Um, I don't know if we need all these sections. We probably just need a couple, really. This, a lot of this shit looks like it was the same as what was on the homepage. Yeah, there's nothing too special there. Okay, um, all right, what do we got here? So they really just got three paragraphs of text. So I wonder if we just do like, this is a one half, one half, and we do a picture here and one, first paragraph there, then we kind of do the same thing there. Let's, tr let's try it with one of them and see how it works. Um, I don't know for sure if that's gonna work, but it might. Okay, so this is, we're gonna change this to amid the swirl. Oh, and they got the video too. I knew they had one other thing. This is a little bit too horizontal, so we need to get like a square. Let's just try it. Because the other thing we could do too is put a, just another text paragraph there. However, I don't think that's going to look that good. So I think hopefully this will work better with the picture. And let's see. Just put an image. Try that. Good. on already good all right let's just check this and see where we're at I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not but I might. Huh. 
Interesting. Okay. Um, I think the image is a little too big. Although, it's really not bad. Maybe, I wonder if I put two of the things here. And then the next, I can do the other one and then the video. And this, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Maybe we'll just have to... I don't know, let's just see here. Do they have a line height? Okay, 1.7 EM. That should actually make a significant difference. Let's just see. This looks really weird. Whoa. Huh. Okay then. Oh, that's too bad. Let's reduce the size. Oh yeah, let me fix this text too, because this is just crazy. Um Okay, yeah. Got all these line breaks in here, which is just no good. Alright, let's hope this is good. This thing's oh gosh. Content just die. Oh, okay. Well, let's try it again. Amid the swirl of excitement on your special day. Alright. And then this was still messed up, too. Alright, that was messed up. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Let's see. That doesn't look bad. It's just this part now is messed up. I wonder if we do like uh, left align it. A flip. It's probably because this stupid thing. Huh. Okay, well. I can probably fix that. Just add a little. Different additional padding. Good grief. inspect it and see so that top right bottom still is not correct oh dang Uh-uh. 
I don't know what in the hell is up with that. That is really weird. Show divider. You think the divider would not be doing that? It sucks because I really don't want to remove the divider because it actually looks good. What if we do margin instead of padding, maybe? And I, let's align this back right again, too. I think that was better, too. Hopefully that'll work. Good. Oh, man. That is so weird. Let me just check again after journey is where it, I'm at. Enchanted journey. Yeah. I don't see any particular reason why I should be doing that. Weird. Man, that's so weird. Okay, well, the margin didn't work at all, so let's go back and put that there. Let me check this one more time. Design. Um, they don't even give you option for margin on that. God dang. Um, well, let's take that off. Maybe that'll do something. <laughs> well, that's not the worst, but it still kind of sucks. Um, now if we remove the 20 pixels, just leave it normal. I want to have this perfect because I'm going to duplicate these and put the second one in there. Oh, God, that's, that doesn't look good either. That has way too much. Good grief. Okay, what if we do like, all right, I think first off we gotta left align both those and they'll look better in that format. Then, um, let's do a, hopefully they'll let you do a negative margin. As long as they do, then we should make a good shape there. And then here, we will left align this as well. Hopefully this looks a little bit better. Yeah, that does look quite a bit better. Okay, so there's one. Now we're gonna duplicate all of these. Oops. Keep getting the open and the duplicate wrong, even though it's not. Uh, oops. Okay, so this is the next one. Got it. And got it. Okay, get this formatted correctly. Okay, hopefully this will look half decent. Yep, it fits well. Okay, so this one here, we will change this and do half video, and then that other blurb, which I think that should work okay. So, um, that part's fine, and the rest of these, we only need one of them. Oops, except for, actually we need the book now. 
It's nice that you can use uh, hotkeys to undo, undo that. Okay, let's turn this into a two column. That's out. In comes a video, which they hopefully have video. Okay. And the URL, let's find it here. Oops, it's on my other other tab. Okay, so we go here, here, share. Hopefully that's the URL they're referring to in this case. And advanced, good, 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 okay, I think that all is good. And then here we can just get rid of that. Um, and honestly, we can probably just duplicate what we've got here. Or well, you know what? We've already got this up here, so maybe we just change this to match this. God, that might be too long, but we'll see. Just go with regular old text. There we go. Save. I think that's going to be way smaller than the video, however, so we might have to add a little bit more stuff there. Um, shoot. part looks pretty good though. Order now. Actually that yeah, I mean except for this is really weird, but otherwise it doesn't look too bad. Um but if we bring it, brought that down, yeah maybe that's what we ought to do. Let's just bring that down here. Bring that there. We gotta fix this. This should be order book now. We'll just leave the URL blank for now. Uh, you know, the rest of these modules we don't need. I'm a little hesitant to delete them because I don't want to screw up this page, but. Let's try it and see. Hopefully this still works. Ah, oh, look at that. Uh, I think that's pretty good still. Uh, this page looks markedly better than what they had. So I think I'm good with that. Um, and we gotta change the name of this page to Weddings. Okay, let's pop out the header and footer and then we can pretty much wrap this one up. All right, so let's see. First, we gotta do something with this logo. Let's see what size this is. Uh, 732 by 162, okay. 732 by 162. Um, okay, now let me make sure. Okay, Executive VIP Transportation is the name of the company. So maybe we'll do Executive and Transportation in the same font and then do VIP in a different font. Just to mix it up a little bit. Um, and for the color, I like the blue already that we're using. Honestly, I've thought about it. I've noodled around quite a bit whether we should change the colors or not, and I don't think we should. So maybe just the dark blue and then the light blue. And I think a font with different weights, like maybe a railway, which I already happen to have up. 
could be good. Executive, let's change this to the correct color that we want. Oh man, we gotta make this way bigger, obviously. That's gonna be too big though. Let's see, executive. We have to be able to fit executive and transportation in here. sure how VIP is going to fit in there. Yeah. So I want to do the VIP like kind of big. But that is not let's see. Let's go to railway black and do all capital VIP and make it way bigger and make it way bigger than that still I think I'm on a path with this I just have to get it right And then this, oh yeah, I want to change the color on that too to the lighter blue. Um, the divider. Let's see, are you going to show me the color? Let's see the color. There we go. Hopefully this isn't cheesy in this color. No, I think that's going to be good. Okay, cool. Um, let's see here. Close here. Um, these I think we need a dark, a little bit darker font. I think the light is just too light. It doesn't contrast well with the black. Unless if we made, eh, I think that other one's okay though. Let's try medium, just to bulk it up a little bit. I don't know, maybe this VIP is just a little bit too big still. No, I don't think that looks good at all. Uh, make this regular. I just don't know if that's good enough. So I'm going to put that there. Yeah, I think that's just weak. We could try to do it like. actually it looks a little bit better to me um, and then maybe even make this a little bit bolder and then let's see make that bold and then hit the letter spacing on it yeah I think this is starting to look better okay um, let's see, I guess I'll make it a little bit more spaced out and see. Still not quite there. Um, oops. Oh, I didn't do it. 
Just like a tad smaller. I don't know if we want to bring it in too much. It's pretty close though. Maybe we could make this one light. Yeah. That didn't really bring it down much though. Um, I guess we could try spacing this out a little bit more. Save it and see how it looks in there. It's good for a start at least. I can always mess around with this some more for them. This is really just, I gotta get this up so they can see it, make sure we're all on the same page with this um, layout. And then I can always go back and tweak this kind of stuff later on. Okay, there we go. That's in. Okay, now this, let's see, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. Um, yeah, okay. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty slick. I like that. I think I will probably clean this up a little bit just to make it even with the VIP, but that's actually not that bad. I think we're on the right track with it. Cool. Well, that's good. Glad to have that out of the way. Um, cool. Okay. So now we just need to kind of get the menu going here and then figure out the deal with that top stuff. I can't remember what he said about that. Um... Let's see, appearance, maybe it's, is it in customize? I never can remember it with these things. Let's see, Avalon settings. Device, image, colors, uh, we're cool with all that. Um, header and navigation, let's see. No, I don't think that's gonna work. No. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna keep all that. I don't know how he did those. Alright, let's look on the let's look on the thing. Um he had something about that in there. Okay, bottom footer. Oh okay, so maybe it's in the Divi library? Let's just check the DV library. Um, oops. Let's see. That's gonna work. All right, 
let me go ahead back in here again. Oh, well, that's what it was. It was the menu. Yep. See, it's been a couple of days since I was in here, so I forgot all about this. Let's change this to FA. remove these because as far as I know they don't have any social networks oh shoot I'm just guessing if this is actually the name of it or not no, I guess I must not be oh bummer I think it would be called email. Maybe it's like a letter. Yes, it does look like a letter. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can figure out what the name of this one is. Envelope. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Good header looks good. Now we gotta do the regular menu too. So okay, let's go to primary. Um, these are all pretty much out. So we'll just copy the top level menu that they have with custom links. One. We got wine tours. page in there is a drop down under let's see this was under special occasions right yep let's see how this looks oh shit all right let's get rid of this I think if we get rid of that and get rid of the search icon it I don't want to make the text too much smaller, but we can trim a little bit off. Customize. Navigation, primary. Okay, so let's see what the menu height. 
text size. Let's just move that down one. Letter spacing is good. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Um, yeah, I gotta fix this logo though. But overall, this looks good. Okay, now we just gotta finish up the footer here, and then we'll be all set. So let's see. This takes a while to figure out where everything is, but I believe. Let's see, we got bottom footer, and that is just a copyright, and then there's one other footer, main footer. Okay. Let's see what they got here. So we don't need this, this, that, or that. Um, address. I don't know if they have that on there. Current. Um, that'll probably be in about contact. And they got the QR. Okay, here we go. Can't get the address on there. It's interesting they have that in a table. Okay, I think that looks reasonable. They had this hot linked. Let's see. I'll just do it myself. God willing, that's gonna look halfway decent. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, cool. Sweet. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's take another quick look back over it. Um, kind of slimmed down the header up here. Might still take the search feature off. I don't know about that. We gotta still add in all the drop downs, but I like the effect on the menu. The menu looks really good. Um, this I might change. I don't know. I guess that's all right. Um, logo, I will probably still make bigger, but it's gonna look basically the same as that. And if they do end up having any other social networks, we could add something else there. Otherwise, I could just like actually add in a phone number there or something. I don't know. I'll have to look into the theme a little bit more. Um, we've got the super cool video background here, the book link. Um, we got the booking online iframe, which actually ended up looking pretty good, even on the blue background. Formatted the text here nicely. Um, we got the testimonial to fit into this section. I, you know what? I think we could take a little padding off of the top of that, too. Uh, let's just check it really quick. Let's see. That was this one. They must have some in there. Yeah, I'll just take that right off. Even though that's not the right one. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, whatever. Let's just try that and see if that looks any better. Well, it looks about the same. Anyway, the video play is nice inside there. It's, yep, even on mobile, it gets a little small on mobile, but still workable. Um, the wine retasting tour section looks good, and we got room to add more here if we want to. Um, so these are all pretty cool. Got another booking link. Then we got the fleet here. 
Um, hopefully we'll get some better pictures for that, but overall I think that looks pretty good for now. This is the only one that doesn't really look good. And then we got the testimonial section here. The lady's face is kind of jacked up on a smaller screen, but on a larger it's pretty good. Um, we got just this little extra section down there. Contact section looks nice. And then we also went ahead and did the weddings page. Which, yeah, the weddings page overall I think looks really good. Yeah. Um, this part, I like the way this came out. This is nice with the video built in. Let's check it on mobile and see. Yep, I like all this here. Yeah. Yep, so I think that's it for the first round. We got a pretty nice site together, and I'd say this one probably, I'm guessing, came in around two hours' time. So, yeah, overall, nice project. Thanks for uh, following along. Man, okay, so that was a pretty long tutorial again. Um, I think that one went a little bit smoother than some of our other ones, even though I had to do it in two separate days. Um, still, I think only ended up taking me about two hours, and that one was a little bit more involved. The theme itself required a little bit more... Um, coding and stuff you know like the install process was a little bit bumpier and um, editing some of the stuff was not quite what I was expecting but overall it came out really nice um, I think this is a good start to the site the client I think should like this and it's gonna be really interesting to see what it looks like when we build the whole thing out because um, there's a lot of pages in there and I think it's gonna look really cool once we get those all added so um, that'll be interesting I'll be sure to share that once we get it done because um, that's going to be a, a heck of a before and after and um, I'm sure these guys are going to love it so yeah as far as the theme goes uh, you know for 175 bucks it's iffy whether or not it's worth it um, it's pretty nice but it's it sucks that it's hard to change those sections around uh, easily so I mean I guess if you wanted to really um, try to learn what you're doing with that and get good at it you could probably get to the point where you could change those sections around relatively easily but right now you can't just switch them uh, without having to mess around with a bunch of those header and footer triangles so you know that's kind of tricky um, I was originally thinking I might even use this to maybe like build my redo my own website but uh, in retrospect I don't know if it's quite gonna be flexible enough for something like that so probably won't do that but I still I think I will use this theme for a few other projects because I still really like the look and feel of it um, I really like the color scheme I hate you know I hate to not change the color scheme but um, I just think it's looked so good this way that we're just gonna have to keep it the way it is because uh, the colors came out great now if I do another one I'll definitely change up the colors quite a bit but um, yeah I don't know overall um, there de de definitely gonna be some stuff that we need to change up um, even on the two pages that we did, but for the most part, uh, I think it, it it is gonna be really something that the client likes, nice and smooth, clean, modern looking, and uh, just a really nice overall site. So it should be great for them, it was fun to do, and uh, if you paid attention through this whole thing, thanks a lot, and make sure you hit the subscribe button, and check back frequently because we're going to be doing more stuff like this all the time I got another like six projects just like this in the queue I'm going to try to do some more videos on those as well as some other uh, tutorials and so forth that I got planned so uh, thanks again